Hi, this is a little video to help you make sense of, of what we're talking about with the discriminant that's in the lesson uh, 5.04 and then specifically with the discussion question. Well, what you really, we're, we're working with here with is you really need to understand this part here this, that we're working with a standard form. You need to be able to recognize ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. If you don't know this, you need to go back and and learn about this. Look at an index and uh, and figure out and make sure you understand that a is the coefficient of the quadratic, b is the coefficient of the linear uh, variable, and then c is the constant. If you don't know what coefficient is, look up coefficient. It's so important that you know these these concepts. Now, the next thing that we learned was this thing called the quadratic formula. It's like, well, boy, if we use this thing called the quadratic formula, we can figure out the values of x that will provide us a solution to this equation. What values of x will make this equation, everything on the left-hand side, equal zero? Well, that's an important information to find, and that's what the quadratic formula tells us. The next thing we learned is that there's this thing called the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, and you can see it right here, b squared minus 4ac, and that is underneath the radicand, right? Okay, that's underneath the radicand. So that's what we're looking at here. That's what we're looking at right now. And so what it says is when you have the discriminant and you put some values in there for b and for a and for c and you actually compute it and find out what the value is, and if it equals zero, watch this, if it, if it equals zero, if when you, when you compute that it equals zero, then it says there's one rational solution. If you get a value for that that is less than zero, say negative three, then you know there's no real solution. There's no solution to the equation that you're working with. And likewise, if it's, um, if it's greater than zero, and if it's a perfect square, remember perfect squares are 4, 16, uh, 36, 49, if it, then there are two rational solutions, and then two irrational solutions if it's, not a, if it's greater than zero and not um, a perfect square. Let's take a look at an example, okay? So let's take a look at um, 9x squared plus 12x plus 4 equals 0. Well, look at that. It's already set up in standard form. You don't have to trans, uh, trans, uh, transfer it and to, uh, into standard form. It's already set up. All you need to do is pick out a, b, and c. a is the coefficient of the quadratic or coefficient of the x squared, and that's just equal to 9. b, b is just the coefficient of x. Um, and that's equal to 12, and then c is the constant, and that is just 4, okay? Now we have those things identified, we just take them and pop them into the discriminant, and it says b squared. Well, what's b? b is just 12, so watch this. We just say 12 squared minus 4 times a. What's a? a is equal to 9, and c, what's c equal to 4? Okay, we'll go like that. Uh, 12 squared is 144. And then when you take 4 times 9 times 4, you get 144. That's what you get. So when you get 144 minus 144, you get 0. So now we're saying that b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Right? The discriminant is equal to 0. We say, okay, well, what is it? When the discriminant is equal to 0, it's right here. There's one rational solution. Okay, so that's how the discriminant works, and you can use this information to, figure, to write equations or to come up with equations that will satisfy the discussion question, because the, discuss, the discussion qu question says create a, uh, an equation that has two rational solutions, create an equation, another equation that has one rational solution, and create an equation that has zero rational solutions. So based on that, you can play around with uh, the coefficients, uh, um, and you can play around, you know, with your a, b, and c, and come up with uh, a discriminant that will satisfy this, you know, one of these, um, that one of these criteria, and then based on that, you can go backwards and write an equation. Okay, um, I know it's a little bit challenging, but I think you can do it. So good luck.